Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today we have a lot of PTS news, new map confirmed, patch notes, things of that nature on the PTS, and we gotta dive right into it. I'm not gonna be here much today, so I'm just getting this video done. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer. So this is the Thea Sky Ruins. We've known about this map now for a bit, but it looks absolutely massive. It looks massive. So cool. You can see the layout of the jungle. I love this flyby camera. I think it makes for really, really good footage. This is really awesome. And of course, listen to that. <laughs> Rayquaza. Looks sick, man. Looks sick. Looks absolutely amazing. Great trailer for it, too. And we got to dive into PTS. Uh, patch notes so let's go ahead and dive into pts patch notes um these are all beta patches so we don't have any of this confirmed 100 percent yet but let's look at it from el chico ev we have air slash is getting a nerf one second nerf i'm assuming that's cooldown submission is getting a buff with an increase to move speed 70 percent increase to move speed um 50% increase in move speed. I'm assuming that's, is that a buff or a nerf to the move speed since it has a lower cooldown? Yeah, okay. So I guess they're changing the move speed down a little bit, but they're buffing the cooldown. Wiggly Tough is going to have a slightly faster cooldown with more damage on double slap. That's cool. Serena Stomp is a slightly slower cooldown with a lesser damage scaling. Sorry, phone notification. Um, so yeah, lesser damage scaling, 180% down to 163 uh, maybe there's some changes. Yeah, flat number changes as well. Queenly Majesty buff also getting hit for uh, damage on Stomp. Upgrade damage also getting hit. Upgrade damage, Queenly Majesty buff also getting hit. So um, Stomp, Serena doing less damage. I think that's probably a, a pretty good play, yeah. Um, Taking a look at Dratini, basic attack, okay. Uh, cap mobs of 600 and boosted attack restores 5% max HP when it hits. Um, the cap removed and boosted attack doesn't recover anymore. Okay, that's a weird change uh, for Dratini. I didn't really think anything was wrong with Dratini, but that, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, we have Dragonite basic attack. Um, additional damage equals 10% of the enemy's remaining HP. Now it's down to 5%. Capped at 1,200. Now it's capped at 600 damage. Okay. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Dragon Dance cooldown going up by 0.5 seconds. I'm going to move my camera really quickly so we can look at this. Uh, Duraludon, Dragon Tail. Um, getting a, a nerf in time. Is that, am I looking at that right? 1.1 second down to two seconds. That seems a little bizarre, but I guess that's okay. Um, Psybeam, nine second cooldown going down to 7.5 seconds. That's nice. Future Sight and Future Sight Plus, eight, nine seconds going down to eight seconds. Unite Move Charge is going down. So that's awesome. 111 seconds down to 100 seconds. That that might be some nice changes for, for Espeon. Flame charge getting a 0.5 second cooldown. Nice. I mean, yeah, nice. That's huge. So can I come back on here? Kinda. Um, Smackdown. It looks like for Smackdown, it's the muscle gauge increases by one up to two now. So more more uh, muscle gauge increase from Smackdown. Let's see. Upgrade is gonna be from two up to three. Yeah. Okay, so SmackDown buffs and then Leech Life getting a one second cooldown increase. You can't see that from uh, eight second or nine seconds down to eight seconds. So some some small buffs for for Buzzwool, but this will probably feel pretty good getting Muscle Gauge faster. It'll mean that your like Leech Life or your um, superpower will almost always be like have higher efficacy. It's gonna just always have higher efficacy, so that's good. Tyranitar Stone Edge Stone Edge Plus. Eight seconds to 9.5 seconds. Wait, they're nerfing Stone Edge? Okay, I guess that's a thing. That's interesting. Um, damage melee range is getting um, nerfed. Max range on... I'm assuming this is just all Stone Edge. Max range getting a damage reduction. And yeah, melee range and damage changed. Max range. Sorry, this is a bit of a different format. It's kind of a little hard to read, but it's not too bad. Just like... Red numbers old, green numbers new, and then numbers smaller. Uh, upgrade damage melee range. So just like nerfs on Stone Edge. Okay. 
That's a weird that's a weird ability to nerf. Ancient power, 10 second cooldown buff to 7.5 second cooldown. Okay. Buffed to a higher shield. Buffed to additional higher shield. Okay. Wait, ancient power is getting buffed? That seems not right. <laughs> that seems like I feel like no, I was going to say, did the, are the names in the wrong spot? But no, because that doesn't make sense, because this has shield on it. Okay, that's bizarre. That's really interesting. I don't understand that. <laughs> okay, Sand Tomb. Uh, 10 second cooldown going down to 12, to 12 seconds. Nerfed. What is happening? <laughs> I'm confused. Why is Sand Tomb getting nerfed? Why is Stone Edge getting nerfed? And why is Ancient Power getting buffed? That's really bizarre. I don't understand that at all. Okay, that's really, really bizarre. All right, Dark Pulse damage is getting a slight buff. Additional damage getting slight buff. Blessy, Blessy soft boiled healing is getting nerfed. Nice. The heal over time getting slightly nerfed. That's really, really good. Good change for Blissey. I mean, that's at least a good start, right? I don't even know if that's particularly what I would have hit on Blissey, but it's a good start to pulling her in line a little bit. Now, this one is really, really big. Unite moves are now like split buffs or like they're like different buffs for different kinds of characters. Really, really different. Lots of Unite move changes. This is probably going to be one of the bigger things. And I can't really show it off here. So, um, really, really different. Let me see if I have a different uh, webcam position. No, I don't. We'll just go over here for now. Um, Trevenant, duration 6 seconds. Buff 1 is a shield for 20% of max HP. Buff 2 is increases move speed. Okay. Charizard, the duration is 6 seconds. So, it seems like all Unite moves are just shorter. Shorter dur duration. Buff 1, a shield for 20% of max HP. Movement speed by 50%. So they're different per kind of character. Pikachu, 6 second duration. A shield for 30% of max HP. Increased movement speed by 30%. And cooldown reduction by 30%. So it just has like these buffs built into whatever the Unite move is already. We already had like the stem. So really, really interesting. Um, that they've kind of like... They're giving like distinctions for the different kinds of characters. And even some of them all are shared. You can see that here in a second. So Zera Aura, it gets a 20% of max HP shield, increased movement speed by 30%, increased attack speed by 20%, and cooldown reduction of 15%. Uh, Gengar, Absol, Talonflame are, you know, six second duration, just as everybody else. A shield for 20% of max HP, increased movement speed by 80%. So kind of like niching certain kinds of characters into Unite buffs. Um, Mime, Garchomp, Eldegoss, Cramorant, Decidueye, they all get a 30% max HP shield, increased movement speed by 30%. Yes, phone alarm, I know I need to leave soon. Uh, Blastoise, Slowbro, Snorlax, Crustal, Greedit, Mamoswine, shield for 40% of max HP, increased movement speed by 30%. Uh, Glaceon, Azumarill, Duraludon, Aegislash, Dragonite, Serena, Cinderace, Greninja, shield 20% of max HP, increased movement speed by 30%, increased attack speed by 35%, really, really interesting. Uh, Venusaur, Ninetales, Wigglytuff, Machamp, Gardevoir, Lucario, Blissey, Sylveon, Hoopa, Espeon, Delphox, Buzzwell, Tyranitar. 20% of max HP shield, increased movement speed by 30%, cooldown reduction by 30%. So really niching characters into these different Unite move buffs. Really, really, that's going to be something you have to get used to. And like, how, like man, that's just going to take us probably a little bit of time. But um, six second Unite moves, I think that this is going to be, this is going to have really big implications on the game. Just changing how Unites work. It's going to be, it's going to take a little bit of time to just like feel out how everybody feels with these like new Unite moves or like altered Unite moves because not all of them are like exactly like new per se, but they just have different values for different things on different characters. And I don't know how they pick, right? Like it's just really, really interesting because you have characters like Aegislash, Dragonite, Serena paired in with Duraludon, Cinderace, Greninja, and Glaceon, and then like Azumarill. So it's like attackers, but that's like all rounders. So really really interesting stuff um as for emblems we have sp attack emblems getting slightly buffed on the low end barely changed in the middle not changed at all in the high end attack um kind of like same thing slightly buffed in the early barely changed in the middle no change in the end and then crit going down from one percent additional crit chance at max down to 0.6 so running a full crit page may not be worth it anymore you'll probably run like brown crit white crit um because you can't just get that full 10 percent crit anymore you're gonna get you know what 0. 0.6 times 10 um so not quite as impactful so maybe it would be better to actually lean into some stats now 
and would probably be a little bit better. So this is helpful. I'm actually really excited about this change because it happened pretty quickly. I think they just saw that people were just like willing to use full crit immediately. So lots of crazy changes coming to the game. We have a whole new map. So listen, the reality is that all of this stuff's not coming out until after Worlds, and we knew that the implications of like a big patch pre-Worlds was probably not going to happen. So all of these changes coming right after Worlds, um, pretty, pretty crazy. So we have new map, completely like game changing changes, um, new Unite moves, big patches, new characters on the way. Uh, Pokemon Unite is truly entering year two with Worlds, so or the end of Worlds in the new patch. So friends, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear it. The game is going to change. Like I said, whatever new stuff is coming out, I might not be able to see you immediately, but here we are. So as always, drop a like on the video, comment, subscribe for future Pokemon Unite content. Be sure to be kind of one of them. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.